think the relationship between Aretha and Jennifer was important because number one, Jennifer got to know Aretha personally and knew the stories and knew where some of the inspiration and motivation for the singing and the performance came from. So I think she could instill that or, or ingest that into how she wanted to approach uh, this role. You could tell very early on that Jennifer was very serious about this role. She was committed to it. She said it publicly, this is the role she was born to play, something she always wanted to do. And as long as I've known Jennifer and we'd been working together for probably 13 or 14 years prior to the starting of this film, this is the, the moment that she's been waiting for. This is the role she's been talking to me about playing for as long as I've known her. I think gospel's part of Aretha's DNA. She's just, she comes from that and it's infused in everything she does. Her voice naturally, inherently is from the gospel world. And so anytime she sings anything, some of that's gonna come out. But I think what she did was she was able to really start a trend or set a trend for people that wanted to be very soulful and be very uh, contemporary and relevant, but also came from the church. And she fused those two things perfectly to really create her own sound. I think Aretha contributed to the civil rights movement in a lot of ways. Number one, she was singing. She was the singing voice of a lot of parts of the movement. A lot of the segments that were happening were doing it through her voice and through feeling her power, feeling her presence as a, as a performer, as an artist. And I think she was, in a, she was able to energize and excite people and create emotion around people with her music. the way she phrased things, the way the music was arranged, the lyrics, and all that made it feel like she was singing to us, to people that had been pushed down, and people that didn't feel fairly treated, people that felt disrespected. And I think it became an anthem for a lot of us because I think there's probably not one of us that hasn't felt disrespected at a time or doesn't feel like, I deserve better, you know? And when she sings that song, you feel it, and she's singing to you. So using live performances is really important. If you're trying to get this stuff right and you want it to be authentic and you have a cast or an actress that can really sing, you want to do it live. And we were so lucky to have Jennifer be able to do this. I mean, nobody else sings like Jennifer other than maybe Aretha. So when she's in that role, you want to capture it. You don't want to try and record it and then have her lip sync. It, it doesn't feel the same. This is a, a way to capture the raw emotion, the performance, the feeling comes out on set. You're in the church or you're on the stage and Jennifer's singing and she's singing live with the audience and the atmosphere and the energy. And that's how you make a performance that resonates. And then when you're watching it, you're like, oh my gosh, this is incredible. I really hope audiences see this and come out of the theater thinking like, I feel good. I feel better than when I walked in. I feel inspired. I feel moved. I feel emotionally uh, ready to take on anything. Uh, you know, people often don't consider the hardship and the steps that go into making it in anything you do. And they think you're famous because you just had talent. But I think coming away from this movie, if people understand that there are knocks and bruises and pitfalls and things you're going to fall into it, but you have to continue to rise and continue to get up and dust yourself off like Aretha did. And if you believe in yourself ultimately like Aretha did and you have perseverance and a passion for something, you can do it.